hello all welcome back so in today's video we are going to discuss about very important topic that is how we can create an alert when object is uploaded into the bucket or object is deleted from the bucket so there are multiple use cases when we need this alert and as a cloud architect i also feel google should have this alert but unfortunately google i don't have any ready-made metric for this so we have to create custom alert here so we'll see how we can do that so first i'll go to monitoring and i'll show you if we have any option to create alert from monitoring and why we need a custom alert so in monitoring if i go to alerting and i go to create policy here i have option to select metric here i can easily select a gcs bucket but here you can see there are only six metrics one is storage here we can only have metrics on object count total bytes received per second or a total byte so this is useful when you want to create an alert if there are more than 100 objects in the bucket or there is a large object uploaded into the bucket so in these use cases this alerts will be useful but not in the case whenever we want to create an alert if object is uploaded into the bucket or object had been deleted from the bucket but when you are working in a production and if you have a bucket with a critical files and object then this alert is must so i will show you how we can create this alert so first i'll go to gcs bucket and i'll create one bucket there and then we'll see how we can create alert for that bucket so first go to cloud storage so you already know how to create bucket so i will quickly create this bucket so i will go create and bucket name should be unique across globally so i will just give the name tt poc not tt poc i will give a bucket poc 000 so based on my project name i am keeping or using this naming convention and i am not choosing anything else i simply create it so I'll just click confirm and parallelly I'll open another tab to see the logs if we can, I can see the logs because here we have to create a log based alert. So whenever we upload object the entry should be created in a cloud logging and based on that log entry we need to create an alert. So let me go to the logging here. Now few things to remember here I will show you that. So let me go to log explorer here. Okay, so currently you can see there is one log entry which is currently we created the bucket. So storage.bucket.create method. So now I want to see the logs for my bucket. So what I will do, I will go here and select the resource GCS bucket. Then I will select the bucket. So here two buckets. So I will select my bucket. Simply apply. Okay, so now let me upload any object to the bucket. So I'll just upload this file GCP logging. Let me refresh. Okay, and now let's see if we can see the log. So this query will be visible only if you click on this or toggle this show query button. So let me run query. Okay, now you don't see any logs. Whenever I'm uploading the object to the bucket, you don't see any logs here. Or let me delete object from bucket. Now let's see if log entry is created. Okay, you still don't see any log here. This is because our audit logs for storage buckets are disabled. So let me go to the IAM. Let me open a new tab here again. I'll go to IAM and I'll go to audit log. So you have to enable these audit logs. okay here type storage 
click on cloud storage and click on this cloud storage so you could see these locks are disabled admin read data read data write locks are disabled so let me enable everything and click on save the changes are saved now let me upload objects to the bucket let me refresh and let's see now let me if i click on run query we should have a log entry within few seconds yeah you could see the entry here so whatever the objects we are uploaded in the bucket it created entry so whenever we are creating or we are uploading the object it will use the method storage.bucket.create and whenever we are deleting it will use the method storage.bucket.delete and we have to use this method name to create our alert now let me show you suppose just take an example this is my prod bucket and i want to create an alert whenever someone is deleting any file from this bucket so suppose let me delete something okay now it will create a log entry with the method storage dot object dot delete okay so let's wait for a few seconds yeah you could see the storage dot objects dot delete so it deleted the entry using uh, this method so let's expand this entry so i am explaining you in detail because if you have any kind of ad hoc requirement you would be able to create a alert based on your log so that's why i'm just explaining in detail so let me expand this log and scroll down here you could see the method name this is a method name and this is a part of which object proto payload so that's why we have to add a filter proto payload dot method name create or delete now we want to create a delete so now if i run query it will only show me log entry for deleted object see only one object i deleted and it is showing a log entry for that object now i want to create an alert whenever this entry is created in my logs it means whenever any object is deleted from my this bucket i need to create an alert so let me create alert so here you could see create alert option so let me click on create alert alert policy name i'll just give object delete notification here if you want to provide any steps or any details you can provide so suppose i want to say object deleted from bucket please review audit logs this will be mentioned in the alert email now the logs it is just saying this is only for this project so that is fine if you want multiple project you can set alerts on the folder level or you can include multiple project in your filter so here time between notifications so suppose if you want only notification once in one hour you can put one hour i will put five minute here who should be notified so here you should have a notification channel you can send it to slack channel or email so i want to use email so i'll see if any notification channels are available so it is saying there is no notification channel so i'll click on manage notification it will allow me to create a notification channel which is a very easy so i'll go down and what option we have here i'll go for email so i'll add new email address i will give my email address and just i will give monitoring team just an example i am giving monitoring team save now let me refresh this so it will show me 
this notification channel so now monitoring team is available here click ok click save so let me open my mailbox also side by side so if we get an alert i will able to see now first i will upload objects because we don't have any alert for uploading the object and then i will try to delete object and then we'll see if we get an alert on deletion of object so i will upload couple of object here to the storage bucket okay so we won't get any alert on create because we created based on the delete method okay so now what i will do i will delete one of this object and we'll see if i get email notification so let's go and delete this so it will be very quick within i would say within a 10 second or 5 second you will get an alert in your mailbox whenever there is a important file deleted from your storage bucket okay so it's deleted background process has completed and let me refresh my mailbox yeah within three seconds you got an alert we'll see what is the content of alert so this is the alert object deletion notif object delete notification and this is the document point we added in our alerts so we can create any kind of alert based on the log base metric now hope this is clear to you so you can also create alert if someone added object to the bucket just you need to change the method name so here i am using let me show you the method name again so here i am using object dot uh, delete you need to create object dot create so based on that we can create alert for storage bucket whenever there is object deleted or created inside the bucket so that's it for this video i'll share steps separately so let me know if you have any doubts in comment section and thank you for watching this video